Andy Buchanan here from Run to PB. Um, just looking to give you guys a bit of a session that you could possibly look at doing um, at the moment, especially for those uh, down in Melbourne doing it pretty tough. Um, thoughts are with you guys, and I think um, well done on on toughing it out. So therefore, the rest of the state and the country, um, I suppose, don't get attacked too much by this virus. So a session for me that I I really love doing it. I did it a lot last winter, um, and it's I think it's really good bang for your buck. Um, I think it's still really important to do the warm up. Um, so I'm still putting in there a 10 or 15 minute warm up. Uh, I think that's really important. Uh, but the session is 10 by one minute on, one minute off. Um, really good session. I really like it. There's a lot of different ways you can do it. You can change it up each week. Um, you can look to do it over a hilly course or a flat course. Um, or you can look to really attack those minute ons and go as hard as you can and then a really slow jog as a recovery, or you can look to have it as a, as a good on and then a float. Um, so up to you, uh, depending on fitness levels, you can definitely push it out, um, up to maybe 14 or 15. Uh, I've done 20, uh, before and it's not a lot of fun. So I don't recommend going that high, but yeah, look to enjoy it. Make sure you do your cool down afterwards, 10 or 15 minutes. That should allow plenty of time, uh, in between. And I think it's still really important to do those drills at the start. Um, so maybe just look to do them at home in your driveway or something like that. And then that way it shouldn't add up to that hour. So the session 10 to 15 minute warm up, 10 by one minute on, one minute off, and then a 10 or 15 minute cool down. Enjoy guys. Thanks.